Unfortunately, Portagon is not a stone true. true. Well, um, you won't miss us much. Before you know it, you'll be back on holiday again. You're right, Auntie. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to come back to this beautiful house. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Come on, okay. let's take the other parts of the house. This house is beautiful. Mm. Thank you. But it wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you. You know what? I've been wondering how I am going to cope when Grace leaves for school. Are you trying to tell me you need a mate? Someone to help? Yes. How we're going to go about um, getting one, that's my worry. I don't think that will be a problem, sweetheart. Hmm? If the worst comes to it, we can advertise in the paper. Or better still, talk to Pastor Simon. He could help us get one from the church. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> oh, well, that's why I love you. Love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh. You are one in a million. Mm, anything mm. for you, you know. Thank you, darling. At least from the church, you can always have someone who has the fear of God in him. Yes. When we trust in our way, we surely go astray. We are all yes. If you're employed as a maid in this house, 
What are going to be your duties? Yes, sir. I'll make sure I respect and obey my madam. I'll do everything she asked me to do. I'll make sure the house is clean and take proper care of the children. And lastly, sir, when my madam is not around, I'll take care of Olga. As the only maid in the house, I understand I'll have a general duty. I'll ensure that the whole house, including the rooms, the lobbies, the premises, and everything in it is kept tidy. I'll also wash and iron all the clothes, except those that will go for dry cleaning. I'll take very good care of the children, mostly when Madame Anoga might not be around. I'll also make sure that I wake up early every morning to prepare the children for school. Finally, sir, food will be prepared at the right time. It's okay. You wait at the lounge, yeah? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who is like unto me? Oh, Lord. Who is like unto me? bless and worship your name. We worship your name because you're the kings of kings, the lots of lots, the Alpha and the Omega. Father, oh, yes. the God who opens the door, no man can shut that That's door. Right. Father, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Mm. Heavenly Father, we've come into your throne for protection as we're about to go to bed. Father, I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you guide us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we cover this whole house in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We want to cover the kitchen, the bedroom, everywhere in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you come and take control in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I'm committing our calling to your hands. You might be going to work tomorrow morning. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you guide him all through in Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are committing Angel and Lover who will be going to school tomorrow will cover them in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Father, we are committing Auntie who will be going out tomorrow morning. Lord, we are praying Almighty that you follow her anywhere she's going to in Jesus' name. Yeah. We soak this whole house in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we bless and worship you. Yeah. We give you all glory, Amen. adoration, Amen. praises, Amen. thanks. Dominion be ascribed unto your name. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus' name we pray. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Good night. All right, good night, darling. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. When we trust in our Surely go astray We have all sinned And come shove of the glory of God To err is human And to forgive divine He's already lifted Our heavy Lord Knock and it shall be Skin shall be given. Seek and you will find everlasting life. Uh oh, the girl's on there. There's no kids. Uh oh, 
I'm Jay. Take the kids to their room. Okay. Pray with them. Mm. Put them to sleep, okay? okay? I'll pray with Madame Lee. Oh, no. mm. Alright, kids, good night. 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 The king of lies has come in many disguises to steal, kill, and destroy. Tell me why you're late. Tell me about the good news. Honey, I won the contract. 200 million naira contract. What did you say? Honey, I said I won the contract. 200 million naira contract. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God has been so good to us. He has really been. Oh my God, yes. my Lord, I bless you again. I exalt you, I adore you. I glorify your name, mighty Jehovah, for blessing my family so abundantly. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sweetheart. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? What? We will celebrate later. Good. Let me go and warm your food up so you can eat. What are you waiting for? Oh, God. Go on. Congrats. <laughs> in your heart. <sighs> All right, you have to take off your clothes. Huh? this religious sentiment. We are gathered here to toast to your success. And if there's anyone who shall interrupt my prayers, it shouldn't be you. Waiter? Yes, sir. Take this in the way and replace this champagne. Yes, no problem, sir. It's all right. Yes. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, my father always tells me that uh, one good turn deserves another. That's right, that's right. And he also warned me that those who defecate on the footpaths of the market will always step on them on their way back. That's right, that's right. Mr. Williams here yeah, has proven a good businessman because he keeps to his word in his agreement. He has done it before, and I'm sure he can do it again. <laughs> May this business prosper you, Mr. Williams, and bring the desired goal to our ministry. Selection of that contract. I fell in love with it. Can I look at the bottle? Yeah, sure, why not? And he has alcohol. Mm. We're not supposed to drink alcohol. It's just a little percentage of alcohol. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Mm? Sure. It doesn't matter. Well, so long as it's just little. Oh, isn't it? I know something. Well, yes. I even have another bottle. Upstairs in our room. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, sweetheart, hmm? I am. I'm feeling woozy. You feeling woozy? Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I come and sit with you? Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I put it in your bag. It's okay. Feel somehow, I don't know. Feel somehow know. too. Do you like I'm feeling? How would I know how you're feeling, sweetheart? Very woozy. <laughs> 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 Jesus died for all. 
started smoking. Mm. Just recently, I discovered that it blends very well with beer and hot drink. But if you don't feel up to it, it's okay. I can give it up. Well, it's okay. Whatever makes you happy is my desire. It's just that I have different stories of um, it's harmful effect. And um, if you have to smoke, you'd better make sure that um, a member of our church doesn't see you or help. Uh, that's what we soon get to know. Oh God, this church, 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 church thing, honey. Leave this church thing for now, please. All right? The truth is that I'm beginning to feel very uncomfortable with the doctrines of that church. The pastor, every day, every week, every month, is preaching about holiness and sanctification. Holiness and sanctification. Don't give bribe, don't take bribe. How can a man like me Whose only business is contract? Survive? Huh? When I need to give for me to get contracts? Honey, please. I am beginning to consider my position in that church before my business collapses. Please. Honey, you're right. You're right. Nobody can be like Christ. Nobody. Thank God for those pastors who understand. You know, they don't go to the side of the scripture that is humanly impossible. I totally agree with you. I think we should um, move on to another church. I mean, look at all the millions who've been given to that church all this while. Yet nobody announces it. Nobody even recognizes us. For all you know, we might even be the highest donor and nobody knows about it. Someone is a dog, let me go and check. Who oh, there is? Mr. Williams, I have not seen you and your wife in the church for the past three weeks. I hope all is well. Uh, yes, all is well, Pastor. It's just that um, we've been somehow busy. 
busy that you cannot create time for God. Well, that is why I am here. I have come to talk to you and let you know about the dangers of backsliding. Because I know that most people who have backslidden in the past started from these same stories of time and busy schedule. Then gradually, they turn away from God. <sighs> Mr. Williams, the devil is like a roaring lion seeking for whom to devour. You must not give him any chance. I remember you once told me about your life, the ups and downs, and how you made a covenant with God that if he blesses you again, you will never turn away from him. Now that he has blessed you, why have you decided to turn away from him? Let me ask you one question, Mr. Williams. If your daughter is doing things that is not pleasing to you and later comes and asks for forgiveness and you forgive her, then all of a sudden she turns around and goes back to her old self. Would you be happy? No, no, Pastor. I, I won't be happy. Then keep your covenant with God. Stand firm in his righteousness. Stand firm in holiness and sanctification. Consecrate your life in our Lord Jesus Christ and he will never let you down. Let your faith stand tall behind him. And surely, he will continue to bless you. Mr. William, it shall be well with you and your family. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against the plans of the wicked one in this family. Father, I come against every spirit of backsliding in this family. Father, take all the glory and adoration for I know you have answered me. Speak. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Uh, Jane, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Hope no problem. No, sir. I just wanted to tell you and Auntie that I'd love to talk to you after you finish resting. Is there anything serious? Nothing serious, Shad. It's just an observation. Go on, go on, say it. No, I'll wait for you to relax. Go on. Firstly, sir, I'd like to thank you so much for taking me as part of this family. But I've observed that the family is no longer active in prayers. No one remembers our usual family devotions anymore. And most of the times, I'm left to pray alone with the children. Because you either come in and complain of being tired or you come back late. I'm not even sure you and my madam remember to pray on your own anymore. Our lives have changed. Our lives have changed from the ways of the Lord. But the most worrisome now is the drinking habit now in this family. Different brands of beer and strong drinks now come in cartons with different people to consume them. To consume them in this house that was sanctified. Will you shut up? Sorry, How dare you talk to us with such disrespect? I'm sorry, Have you lost your senses? No, auntie. Cynthia, leave her alone. Now go on, Jane. Go on. That's all, sir. Are you sure? I'd only like to add that the devil is a roaring lion. He's seeking for whom to devour. And that prayer is the only weapon of a true believer. With prayer and faith, holiness and sanctification, we can reconnect ourselves back to God. We mustn't let the devil to tear this family apart. Out! Cynthia, she was only advising us. And if you listen to her carefully, you would have noticed that she was telling us the truth. So it's up to us to take it or leave it. Hey, come on, mate. It doesn't matter. Tell me what to do in my house. It doesn't matter, sweetheart. 
Hell no. It's just the truth that she said. Where are your mommy and daddy? They've gone to bed. They've gone to bed? Yes, auntie. Okay. Go to bed, both of you. We'll pray tomorrow morning. Auntie, what would you pray? I said go to bed! the Lord of the Universe, give her the communion. <laughs> Set her free. Mr. Williams, she's still in a coma and I believe she will be okay. Why not just go home and come back tomorrow? I mean, I think to see her. And I believe she'll be alright. Are you sure? Are you sure she's going to be okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. The devil is the king of liars. He's coming, men in disguises. To steal, kill, and destroy.
the children in school. What did I tell you about your dressing? You said I should stop dressing like people of the world. I did not say you should. I said you must if you want to remain and live in this house. For Christ's sake, what immorality are you bringing into my house? What immorality are you trying to teach my children? I saw you nude in what you call a dress yesterday. I want you against it. Today again you're mute, defying my order. Well, horse don't live in a house like this. They live on the streets and in hotels. Now go upstairs, pack your things, and leave my house. I will not stand here and watch you corrupt my children. I will leave, but don't call me a whore. I am not a whore, and I will never live in a brothel. But wait for your children. They'll all grow up to be whores. And they'll turn this field you call a house into a brutal rubbish. What did you say to me? 
What did you say to me? Hopeless girl. Just take your things and leave my house. Drag in my house with me. You were wrong. You shouldn't have said such a thing to your madam about my children. You shouldn't have. No matter how much she provoked you. You didn't behave well at all, Jane. You did not. Anyhow, it's okay. Stop crying, okay? Wipe your tears. I'll talk to her, okay? Now, meanwhile, get your things and put them somewhere around, okay? While I go and talk to her. She's only trying to blindfold you with her antics and crocodile tears. And if you succumb, we will live to regret it. That I scolded Jane and she talked back at me, insulting me. This bad woman, she has to go. Honey, look, you're simply overreacting. You're simply overreacting over this issue. You are. I don't see anything wrong this girl has done to want you to ask her to leave. If it's about her dressing that you refer to as new, my dear, that is simply what is involved for young girls of her age. What is wrong with her wanting to appear decent? It has not affected her duties as a maid in this house in any way, there hasn't. I spoke to her anyhow about the way she spoke to you. And she realized she did something wrong and is showing some remorse about it. Only I'm simply asking you to forgive her and give her another chance. That's all I'm asking for. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at your sense of judgment. How can you hold beef for a girl who has obviously gone astray? Dressing like a prostitute in my house? Well, in case you've forgotten, I am the one that requested for a maid. And I'm saying I no longer need one. Devil is the king of liars. He's coming men in disguises. To steal, kill, and destroy. But when we follow what the Bible says, we will never go astray. Auntie, I'm sorry. Auntie, Auntie, it wasn't me that was talking, it was the devil. I didn't even know when I said those things. Auntie, please forgive me. Please, I don't want to leave you, Auntie. Please. Jane, you've changed. I can't believe you said those things to me. For goodness sake, I take you like my sister. Just because I don't want you strain. Auntie, please, I'm sorry. Just give me a last chance. Auntie, you'll never have any reason to complain about me again. Auntie, even the dress, I'm losing it. I won't tie it again, Auntie. It's already loosened. And the chains, I'll, I'll remove everything, Auntie. I'll I won't use them anymore, auntie, please. The makeup's everything. I won't use them, auntie, please. I'm sorry. Please, auntie. Well, it's my husband you should be thanking. It's okay. Thank you very much, auntie. Auntie, thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Auntie, you won't have to complain about me. I'll behave myself from today. It's okay. Go to your room now. Thank you, auntie. The king of liars. He's coming, men in disguises to steal, kill, and destroy. But when we follow what the Bible says, we will never go astray. Jesus gives life more abundantly. So
Hey, you're nude. Isn't she nude? Look at a kettle calling a pot black. She has shown her powers and she has done her worst. It's now my turn. A drunk, a hypocrite. I will teach her a lesson, a thorough lesson that she will never forget. Devil is the king of liars. He's coming, men in disguises to steal, kill, and destroy. <laughs> Okay, I was expecting that. Food is ready, but you won't eat until you've changed your dresses. So both of you, upstairs, upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until then, if you're not hungry, yeah, you serve us food first. That's right. Okay, I bought something for you too. Maybe I should just give it to you so you hold your stomach. Mm -hmm. Auntie, what is it? It's called chicken suya. Thank you, Auntie. Oh no, don't go out. Just stay here and eat it while I dish your meals. Initiations are over. Go into the world. Destroy mankind. Name them. Kill them. Inflict them with diseases. Their destruction is our progress. Their pain is our joy. And their death pleases our Lord. This is our communion. You will eat it. Our link to the spirit world. And from now henceforth, always remember that this is where you belong. Where's Jane? Oh, I sent her to the supermarket to get some things for me. And what are you doing? I'm preparing fresh fish soup for lunch. Oh, come on, why don't you wait for Jane to come back and do it? You know nobody does it better than her. You so messed this thing up. What was that you said? Honey, please, don't start. I don't want any kind of trouble from you. I only suggested that you let Jane do the cooking because she does it well. Simple. Allow her cook. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Honey, I'm afraid strange things are beginning to happen in this house. There is nothing strange that is happening here. So what are you saying? What are you saying? That you allow the maids to do the cooking in my own house? 
all that I should stop doing your cooking? So Jane has got magic fingers. And suddenly, my cooking tastes sour. Well, it won't be surprising if one day you tell me to move out of our bedroom so Jane can move in. Just because I allow her a few times to cook in my kitchen? She has become an expert, eh? Mr. Williams, you should have your head examined. You give to the one you know because she's your friend, eh? But when it's time for classwork, that's when you remember me. Okay, sorry, my laptop. Thank you. Uh uh, but it's the only one. Give me something now. Okay. Thank you very much. Hmm. Where did you buy this biscuit from? Every bottle for me. It's nice. Thank you. 
afternoon, Stella. How was school today? Good afternoon. afternoon, my mercy. How was school today? Fine. The mess collected biscuit from someone I ate. It's a lie. That's not true. I didn't eat it. It's true. I saw you. Mercy. No. Is it true that you collected something from somebody at school and ate? No, mommy. You have warned us many times not to collect something from visitors and even from our friends at school. The truth is that I collected the biscuit from Angel. I pretended I was going to eat it, but later I threw it away. She's my friend. I don't have to feel bad that she gave me something and I refused. I didn't eat the biscuits. You were wrong. You should never collect something you are not going to eat from anybody next time. It could be very annoying when someone finds out that what he or she gave to you to eat, you threw away. So the best thing to say is thank you and don't collect. No responsible person will severe your relationship because he or she gave you what to eat and you refused. If you have such a friend, that person could be dangerous. So many people in this world have eaten poison or witchcraft because they do not have the willpower to say no to what they do not want to eat. They ate against their guardian spirit. I am warning you for the last time. Don't you ever collect anything from anybody until you develop yourselves. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now you can go in and eat your food. My darlings, you're welcome. Mr. William, your quotation for 20 billion naira for the supply of cars and luxurious buses for the upcoming Black Arts Festival has been approved. Thank you very much. Mr. Um, before I go any further, Mr. Williams, I'd like to make it clear to you that government attaches a lot of importance to this festival. And government is not ready to make any logistic mistakes. We are taking no chances. This is a festival where blacks from around the world would display their various cultures and art. This is a festival that will bring economic fortunes to this great country. So in the view of this, Mr. Williams, government has warned that all vehicles must arrive, must have been supplied at least two weeks, again, two weeks before the opening ceremony. Once again, Mr. Williams, congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, well, we have played our own role and uh, we awarded this contract to you because we know that you can perform. So in the light of this, the ball is now in your court, Mr. William. So that at the end of the day, the, the ones that we represent will say, well done, you have done very well. Go, represent us again. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and uh, all the members of the board yeah, for making it possible for me to win this contract. I want to assure you all that nobody will be aggrieved. That the very people you represent will be happy to send you back to me again. We have done it before and we're going to do it again. So without deviating from the main obligations of this agreement, let me quickly say that we all know that the total value of this contract is 20 billion naira. And my money to execute this contract is 3 billion naira. Mr. Chairman, I want to quickly tell you here that the moment I cite my check in my hand, I will instruct my bankers to make available your 17 billion naira payable into any account in any bank anywhere in the world. Once again, I say thank you very much.
But then, I have something for you. I have uh, the total sum of 5 million naira I have brought for you people for your champagne. And it is a, it's a value card. So you are a wizard! Contract has been given to you in confidence. Yes, they did. But something happened during the meeting. Two strange birds flew out of my briefcase when I opened it to give them some gratification. You can imagine the ridicule. The ridicule was so much. They called me all sorts of names. Wizard and name it. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, god, what is happening, God? Honey, I don't know. I don't know, sweetheart, I don't know what is going on. I lost all my friends. Everybody. Honey. Listen to me carefully. Put yourself together, hear me? And start coming home right away. See, we have to look inward and find out where we have offended God. We have to make reconciliation and restitution with our God. Let's find him. Let's look for him. I'm sure he's still near. Start coming home right away, you hear me? I'm waiting for you. Oh God. Oh God. This is too much for me, God. Oh God. Oh God. Righteous Father of my Lord Jesus Christ. I kneel before you, O oh Lord. My head is too heavy. My neck is aching to break. I have searched my heart. And I have seen that we have deviated from your ways, Lord. I have found in my duties as a wife. I should have stopped my husband from straying into the world. But I knew it so Lord. Lord! Lord, forgive me. I am back at your feet, Jehovah. I have sinned and also helped my husband to live in sin. I ask you, Jehovah, to forgive me. Oh God, I beg of you. I cannot do anything without you, Lord God. Jesus, please come. I know that you have sent me, oh Lord. I know that you have forgiven me, O oh God. I thank you, Jesus, for answering the prayer. Oh God, I am sorry. Now listen to me carefully, two of you. Strange things have been happening in this house. I will explain to you when your father comes back from work. You see? You have to steer clear of Jane. My spirit has rejected her right from the day 
I asked her to leave this house. But this time, she must leave as soon as your father returns from work. Meanwhile, do not go to her room. Do not take anything from her and eat. I am sorry I am going to restrict your movement so that she doesn't get in touch with you. I have also stopped her from cooking. You stay here while I go and prepare your lunch. Do you understand? Yes, mommy. Do you understand? Yes, mommy. The devil is the king of liars. He's coming in in disguises to steal. children. Oh. Now, out of this room if I kill you. Out! You must be joking. You dare not. Are you dragging my children with me? She'll be all right. But we're still trying our possible to make sure she gets her consciousness. Just go home and take care of yourself. I mean, stop thinking. Just go home. I'll be here. I'll be here in the evening. No problem. That will be all right. And um, if there's any need for me to call you, I'll call you. Sorry. Right. Calm down. Stop thinking, okay? Thank you very much. Sir, you haven't eaten anything since yesterday. 
I brought you some oranges and I've started boiling something for you to eat. Thank you. Yes, Just in case you need anything, sir, I'll be in my room. It's okay. Stubborn, my goddess. She has refused to eat since we seize her. Give her the communion. No! 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 If you eat this communion, I will give you all your heart desires. <laughs> no! No! If you eat the communion, I will make you the first female governor in this country. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. If you eat the communion, I'll make your husband the president of this country. No! <laughs> what are you doing? I live What else do you want in life? You'll be governor. Or the first lady. Don't entice me, don't you? You belong here. I don't belong here! Just let me go. Listen, let us worship her. No! She will bless us even more. I will not worship her, you hear me? I will not! Now you listen to me. If you don't eat that communion, I will personally kill you. You cannot kill me! You cannot! Give her the communion! No! Force her! Good morning, madam. Morning. Why is he crying? Uh, good morning, madam. Uh, my name is Pastor Nelson. Yes. This boy was a wizard. He confessed that we have delivered him. He knows the boy who gave him the witchcraft. 
even the rest who are wizards and witches in the school. How do you know? Uh, well, it's true. He's my son. It was late last night at about 3 a.m. We had a very strange noise, like something falling on the roof. We woke up suddenly and found a cat on our bed. My wife and I, we chased it and caught it. We decided to keep it in a place where it would not escape until morning. But on a second thought, we decided to break one of the legs. As I broke the right arm, the cat cried violently and screamed out of my hand and disappeared. Instantly, my son began to scream in his room. We rushed to him. He was in excruciating pain, holding his right arm. We also saw that his right hand was broken. Quickly, we called our pastor. And as soon as he came into the house, the boy began to scream again and confess he was a wizard. <sighs> please, please, please. This is beyond me. Let me call the proper address. Okay, class, like I was saying. Five minus three gives you how many? Two. Good. And four minus two gives you how many? Two. Five minus three gives you how many? Two. Four minus three gives you how many? One. Plus four gives you? Eleven. Good. Just stay in bed.
I rebuke that spirit of witchcraft in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, but you can't lose him. You lie. You can't. I've destroyed him. I've killed him. And I'll kill you. I'll kill him before I kill them all. I'll kill you. I said that spirit of witchcraft. I lose in you. And I command you in the name of Jesus. You lie. You lie. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Thank you, nurse. Thank you. And thank all of you that have to save my life. Thank you. Devil is the king of liars. He's coming in disguises to steal, kill, and destroy. But when we follow what the Bible says, we will never go astray. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Auntie, please. I'm sorry, please, Auntie. Please. I forgive you. But you have to go. You have to go inside and pack your things and leave. He's coming, men in disguises to steal, kill, and destroy. But when we follow what the Bible says, we will never go astray. It's alright. Jesus gives lives more than Take good care of yourself. Bye. So, oh, 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 oh,